This is part 6 of AngularJ's tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss ng repeat directive. Along the way, we'll also discuss nesting ng repeat with an example. ng repeat is similar to for each loop in C sharp. Let's understand this with an example. Here, we have an employees array. Notice at the moment we have got five employees. Each employee object has got first name, last name, gender and salary properties. We want to present this data using a table as you can see here. Let's see how easy it is to do that using ng repeat directive. The first step here is to build this model. So let's flip to Visual Studio. Within our controller, I'm going to create employees array. This array is going to contain our employee objects. Every employee object is going to have a first name property, last name, gender and finally salary. So we have our first employee object. Let's include four more employee objects in the interest of time. I have already typed the required code. Let's format this a bit. So we have the employees array which is going to be the model. So let's go ahead and attach that to the scope object. All right, the model is ready. Now we want to present this data using a table. So within the view, I'm going to include a table element. So we want a table header to display the column names. So within the table, I'm going to include a T head section. And we need four TH elements to display first name, last name, gender, and salary. So first name, last name, gender, and finally salary. Now let's include the T body section. And within the body, we want a row for every employee. So I'm going to include a TR element. And on this TR element, I'm going to use ng repeat. And look at the expression that I'm going to write here. Read it like this. For each employee object in, what is our model? Our model is employees. So I'm going to use that So for each employee in employees. Our model is nothing but a collection of employee objects. Now you can name this variable here anything you want. So for each employee in employees, what do we want to do? We want four TD elements so we can display their respective first name, last name, gender, and salary. So let's go ahead and include a TD. And to display the employee's first name, we are going to use that variable employee dot first name. Similarly, let's display their last name, gender, and salary. Last name gender and finally salary. Let's save the changes and reload the page. Look at that, we get the first name, last name, gender, salary for every employee as expected. So here we are using the ng repeat directive. Now let's look at an example of nesting ng repeat. And here is what we want to do. We want to display you know these three countries and every country has got a list of cities. So we want to display the country names and city names using an unordered list. So we are going to have you know, countries array and each country object is going to have cities property which will be another array so that it can contain the list of cities belonging to that country. So let's go ahead and create our model first. So within the controller function here, let's create a variable. Let's call it countries equals an array. So let's create our first country object. So every country is going to have a name property. The name of the country is going to be UK. And every country is also going to have cities property. That's going to keep track of the cities that belong to that country. And this is going to be an array. And every city is going to have a name property. So let's say the first city is London. Let's include two more cities, Manchester, and finally, Birmingham. OK, so we have our first country object there. Let's include two more countries. And in the interest of time, I've already typed the required code. So let's copy that 
and paste it right here. Let's format this a bit. So we have three country objects, UK, USA and India. So we have our country array, which is going to be the model. So let's go ahead and attach that to the scope object. So $scope.countries equals our array countries. So the model is ready. Now we want to present the data using an unordered list. So I'm going to remove this table element from the view and include an unordered list. And then I'm going to include a list item. So within the unordered list, we want a list item first for every country. So on this list item, I'm going to use ng repeat equals for each country in countries. Okay, countries of a model. So what do we want to do? We want to display the country name. So I'm going to use a binding expression country dot name. And then every country has got list of cities belonging to it. We want to display those list of cities. So I'm going to create another unordered list and it's going to have its own list item and on this I'm going to use another ng repeat so notice here we are nesting ng repeat so ng repeat equals we already have the country variable so this country variable will be available you know within this li and to any child elements and we know that every country object has got cities property which contains the list of cities so here what I'm going to do is so li ng dash repeat equals for each you can read this as for each city object in country dot cities so this country is this variable so we are looping through each country object displaying the country name and then we get an unordered list and you know again we're using li here and then looping through each city within the city's property of that country object okay so then what we want to do is write the city name out so let's use another binding expression and display the city name alright so let's save the changes and reload our view and now we should get the country names and the cities belonging to it and here we are nesting ng repeat how to find the index of an item in the collection to find the index of an item in the collection use dollar index property whenever you use ng repeat you know you get this dollar index property and using that you can find the index of the item so we have you know within the array it's a country's array we have three items uk usa and india so uk's index is 0 usa 1 india 2 and then each country has got list of cities an array of cities so for London look at the index on the extreme right here 012 London Birmingham, Birmingham and Manchester and look at the parent index the parent index is nothing but the index of its parent element so UK index is 0 so you see that here and if you look at this um, country USA look at the parent index it's 1 matches with the country USA index and for Indian cities it matches with the India index let's see how to achieve this so to get the index of an item all you need to do is let's say we want to display this word index equals and I'm going to use another binding expression and specify dollar index let's do the same thing for the cities as well okay so let's save the changes and look at this when we reload we get the index for the countries and then the cities that belong to each country now how to get parent index to get the index of the parent element there are th two ways you can use dollar parent dollar dot dollar index or you can use ng init initialize a variable with the parent index value and use that variable let's look at both the ways first let's see how to use dollar parent dot dollar index so we want the parent index only the cities have got a parent so here what I'm going to do is before we display the index itself I'm going to display parent index so parent index equals I'm going to use another binding expression dollar parent dot dollar index and then let's separate the parent index and the actual item index by a comma so let's save the changes and look at this when we reload we get the respective parent index for the cities
Okay, so one way is to use dollar parent dot dollar index. The other way is to use ng init directive and initialize a variable with the parent index value and then use that variable later. Let's look at that in action. So here we're using ng repeat directive. So I'm going to use ng dash init and let's call the variable parent index. You can give it any name you want equals and here I'm going to use dollar index and then I can reuse this variable you know anywhere within that element so I'm going to use that right here instead of the binding expression you know within that binding expression we can use that variable so let's copy that and paste it right there okay so let's save our changes and look at this when we reload that you know it doesn't change you know we're getting that parent index as expected. Thank you for listening and have a great day.